Hi everyone, Namaste, I'm Divya Sharma and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching this video, then you must be a student who is trying to plan their USMLE timeline and I know it can give you nightmares. I've been there, I've done that and I'm still having nightmares. In this video, hopefully, I will help you tailor a USMLE timeline which is quite personalized to you because there's no ideal timeline ever. This is the second part of the video. In the first part, I have spoken about all the milestones and it is a survey based video where a lot of medical students, residents, fellows answered questions on their timelines. And based on that, I have spoken about how much time each milestone is going to take. Now that you know what milestones you need to do and how much time each milestone is going to take, you need to know when would be the best time to put them in and that's exactly what i'm going to be speaking about in this video all right before any further ado let's start so if you are an international medical student then um, the medical school years are going to be different from the american school in an american medical school which is a four-year course the first two years is studying um, in classroom they study all the subjects system wise and by the end of two years they take the step one exam which is required for them to pass into their third year and then after their third and fourth year they take the step two ck exam and then apply for the math season. Now, this is very different compared to the medical school's example for in India. We have a five-year course where we have the first, second, third, and fourth year of studying as well as clinical rotations. And then we have one year of internship, which is basically working in the hospital as a junior doctor. Our medical school curriculum is not very supportive of the USMLE exam because we have final exams each year that we have to pass and uh, the attendance is also a reason of worry for most students. So you cannot actually take six months off and just study or even two months off and just study for the USMLE exams. What is the best way to fit in the different milestones starting from your first year? So I have my timeline written right here and I'm just going to tell you that. And then I would tell you what in my opinion would be the best and the most efficient timeline. So coming to my timeline, from our first year of medicine, we had three subjects in the first year and it was a very hectic year for me. So I just decided to study. After that, in my second year, which was one and a half years, I studied for my medical school exams as well as I started a, a research project in ICMR under a professor from my college itself. Also, I went for a conference which was an international medical student conference. In my third year of medical school, there was a debate of whether I should take the USMLE Step 1 exam or I should just concentrate on my hobbies as well as my exams like the medical school exam and conferences and i decided to do, do the second one because i didn't feel confident of taking the exam in third year without a break and without you know being able to go one or two months into just study more and not come to college so i went for conferences again uh, one of them being kim's who model united nations that happens in karnataka if you're from india and I'm sure there must be a lot of other international or national medical conferences which students can go to. So do try to go for them in your third year because it's comparatively a chill year. Again, one thing that I, I forgot to mention was beginning of my third year, I came to the US for an observership in Department of Pediatrics. Um, that was basically to know how the healthcare system is in the US and will I like being here? Because at that point also I was still deciding whether I want to pursue you a residency in the US. The next year is uh, the final year, which can be quite daunting. And so again, I was um, not doing anything about uh, the USMLE Step 1 exam. But as any medical student who wants to do USMLE, I was freaked out that, you know, oh my God, I'm not studying, I'm not doing anything. So I ended up buying the first aid and I would read it sometimes and um, like if I'm reading cardiology from internal medicine I would read the first aid but I wasn't really going into it. Final year in the beginning I had done I had gone for some conferences and I had done some case presentations so that was something that I could add into my CV. After that comes the internship. So my internship started in Jan 2020 and I hope you don't lose me here because I'm going to be telling a lot of dates. 
um, just to be more specific so an internship year is for one year so i would technically have to do internship from jan 2020 to january 2021 but what you can do in uh, india at least that i know of you can extend your graduation uh, stating that you know you want to do usmle you want to come to us for clerkships which can be about uh, three to four months so you need a break uh, so that's what i did in jan 2020 i started my internship but i applied for an extension i would be finishing in 2022 instead of 2021 and then i went on about doing my internship it was also the covid we were the COVID batch of interns so I did get a lot of time to just study. August 2021 I decided to take my USMD step 1 exam. I took about six months dedicated. I was at home studying just for the exam and three months prior to that while I was working I was um, watching some videos and I was doing some questions but that wasn't really helpful for me so I just decided to take an off. At this point I had some extension. An extension means that I had some months of work left which I had to do later. I also wanted to keep some extension because I wanted to come here to the US here and you can only do clerkships as long as you are a student. So if I graduate most universities do accept graduates august 2021 i finished my step one exam and by september i had applied to um, whatever universities that were open and accepting international medical students for clerkships after that i decided to come to the us for clerkships and i have planned my clerkships from jan 2022 to april 2022 so about four months of clerkships so after i finished my clerkships in april 2022 i plan to go back to india and uh, there i will prepare for my step two exam and then go into the application process and prepare from there further i'll not be talking about the match season and the match timeline just yet because i think the best information that i can give you is only through personal experience and i have experienced the step one process the clerkship process and that's why i'm going to talk about it maybe once i'm in my math season i will make a video about it if you guys want this was an overview of my timeline i want to go in detail about a timeline that would you know be more efficient and good for someone who's starting early and then i will be talking about a timeline for someone who is starting after their final year or during the internship and after graduation okay so the timeline if you're starting as a second or third year medical student so as i said in the first second and third year of medical school it's a good idea to invest time into conferences research and hobbies and of course doing well in your medical medical school is an asset and planning to take the usme step one exam during your third year would be a good option now because it is going pass and fail if you plan to take your exam in the third year then it would be a good option to take it during the beginning of your third year that is maybe jan to june so that you have enough time for your final exams that is at the end of the year and then final year personally i would suggest only studying the final year subjects because again usmle is an mcq based entrance exam kind of a thing it's not you'll never read standard textbooks for you usmle you will not gonna read robbins and harrison and these huge textbooks when you start your internship and if you're already done with your step one exam and you have a score report then you can start applying for clerkships again you need to apply at least six months prior so even if you start at the beginning of your internship and you plan to apply for clerkships by towards the end of your internship it gives you enough buffer of time to prepare your documents even the application will be sent in quite early it can be quite uh, difficult to study during internship so if you you'll have to take up your step 2 ck exam either before your clerkships or after your clerkship it's obviously a good idea to finish it before your clerkships because you'll have a lot of knowledge base of the like the clinical knowledge so you can uh, perform really well in your clerkships but if you plan to take it after your clinical rotations that's fine too at this point um, preparing for the usmd step 2 ck exam can take up till four to six months so do plan that in your timeline after you finish your clerkships uh, you come back and then you sit and prepare for the usmd step 2 ck exam but while you are in the us uh, you can take the oet 
that is the occupational english test while you are here for your clinical rotations so that way you have one more exam out of your way so by august of whichever year you want to apply to you should be done with your exams that is the usmd step 1 step 2 ck oet and also have the medical school diploma and then by september you can finish applying to whichever uh, university that you want to so according to me that was a good efficient timeline but if you're starting as interns then you still have a lot of time it would again be a good idea to extend your graduation and um, towards the end of your internship we have a 12 months of internship so maybe after 10 months you take a break of about two to three to four months and prepare for the usmd step one exam and after you get a score apply for clerkships immediately and you can do about three to four months of clerkship during that time when you are doing your clerkships you can take the oet exam and also start preparing for the step two exam once you're finished with your clerkships you can come back to wherever your home country is and maybe take one or two months of dedicated period and take up the usmd step 2 ck exam for someone who is starting an internship their cv may be a problem because you might not have done research or volunteer experiences that's fine too for research you do not have to be a student you can always come to us and do a research elective or you can find guides in your home country and do research there volunteer experiences as interns you can go for health camps or awareness programs you can join rotaract club or su such clubs who uh, who are a group of medical students they are organizing these health camps and awareness programs for all of us if you're starting as a graduate so according to my survey 17.1% um, of people actually um, gave the USMD step 1 exam after graduating so this can get a little tricky because basically the clerkships um, the universities offer clerkships only to final year medical students but there are other ways of getting clerkships uh, either in private clinics or if you know a doctor you can work in their clinic and that is good too and the second problem is the year of graduation year of graduation from one to three years is still considered newly graduated so that's okay years of graduation older graduates means like four five six years but you can keep it as short as you can so if your year of graduation is one or two years um, before the match application that's fine you need need not worry and as graduates again research electives are open for graduates here in the US in your home country I'm sure so you can do those to make up for your graduation you can um, boost other parts of your CV your scores can really make up for a lot of it the research and publications can make up for it and some interesting volunteer experiences can be a very good way of showing yourself in the interview so even if you're a graduate uh, your timeline is going to be very similar to an intern you just need a year extra to finish all your exams and clerkship all right so that was my personal timeline as well as what i think would be the best if you're starting as a medical student or an intern or a graduate i hope this video has uh, again added some value to you your process and make it a little easier if you think this will help you then please do subscribe to my channel like and do comment where you are in the process of your usmd journey i would love to know that i hope you all have a great day and all the very best bye